ഭൂമിക്കടിയിൽ പ്രകൃതിയാൽ ഒരുക്കപ്പെട്ട അവിശ്വസനീയവും അതിമനോഹരവുമായ കാഴ്ചകളാണ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ ഓസ്ട്രേലിയയിലെ ജുവൽ കേവിനുള്ളിൽ നമ്മെ കാത്തിരിക്കുന്നത് നമുക്ക് സമയം കളയാതെ നേരെ വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് പോകാം വെൽക്കം ടു ജയ് ജോസോ മീഡിയോസ് എൻ്റെ പെർത്ത് ട്രിപ്പിൻ്റെ മൂന്നാമത്തെ ദിവസം ഞങ്ങൾ പെർത്തിൽ നിന്നും ഏകദേശം മുന്നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത് കിലോമീറ്റർ ദൂരെയുള്ള ജുവൽ കേവുകൾ കാണാനായി യാത്ര തിരിച്ചു മനോഹരങ്ങളായ കന്നുകാലി ഫാമുകളും കിലോമീറ്ററുകളോളം നീണ്ടുകിടക്കുന്ന കാടുകളും കൃഷിയിടങ്ങളും എല്ലാം കിടന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾ ജുവൽ കേവുകളിലെത്തി അവിടെ എൻട്രി ടിക്കറ്റും എടുത്തൊരു കാപ്പി കുടിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോഴേക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ കേവ് ടൂറിനുള്ള സമയമായി ഈ കേവിലെ കാഴ്ചകളെപ്പറ്റി ഞാൻ പറയുന്നതിനേക്കാളും നല്ലത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഗൈഡ് പറയുന്നത് തന്നെയാണ് ഒരു ഓസ്ട്രേലിയക്കാരൻ്റെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ഒന്ന് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ച് കേട്ടാൽ മാത്രം മതി എൻ്റെ പെർത്ത് ട്രിപ്പിൻ്റെ വീഡിയോകളുടെ ലിങ്കുകൾ ഞാൻ ഈ വീഡിയോയുടെ താഴെ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷനിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഈ വീഡിയോകൾ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ലാത്തവർ അതൊന്ന് കണ്ടു നോക്കിക്കോളൂ When there was a guy out looking for his lost horse in the bush and he noticed there was a hole in the forest floor and uh, it seemed to disappear down into this darkness. He thought, well, this is quite strange. And that hole is this hole right here. So this was the only entrance into this cave. They came back a year later and they came down this hole here and they spent nine hours down here and they found nearly three kilometers of cave. It was the most exciting day of his life coming down here and exploring all this. Then rainwater goes down that hole over tens of thousands of years and slowly dissolves the limestone making the hole bigger. You know, big enough for us to come down, but also big enough for animals to fall down that hole as well. But then over here you'll see there's some more roots coming down over here. And there's another over here, there's a whole bunch here. And if you look, uh, if you follow my torch all the way around this way, you'll see there's a bunch up here as well. So these ones here are gathering the moisture out of the air. because we've always got 95% humidity down here and it's always 17 degrees whether it's summer winter day or night the same temperature all the time when you get rain coming out of the clouds it collects carbon dioxide at the atmosphere on the way down then it will hit the forest floor and start slowly coming down through this limestone because this limestone is like a big sponge above our head here and it's full of water and that water is dissolving the calcium carbonate out of the limestone But there is a, a couple of long skinny things hanging from the roof over here. These are straw stalk tights and that one there is the third longest in the world. Okay, they are hollow like a straw and we're going to see lots more of them later on. Before we head down to our next platform, I want you to have a look over this side here. Because over here we've got stone called flowstone. And here it's seeped in through that wall, ran down that slope and created what looks like a big crystal waterfall over there. So that would have been growing at one centimetre every hundred years as well. And that is a lot of calcite crystal there. It weighs 27 tonnes. Because that calcite crystal is really heavy stuff. It's a lot heavier than concrete. In the left. Because that's 30 metres to the ceiling. It's not too often you get to stand in a room with a 30 metre high roof. So, and then if you imagine there's 12 metres of limestone from the ceiling to the forest floor, that now makes us 42 metres underground. Okay, which is the same as about a 14 storey building. So they say that this cave that we're in is about 1 million years old and all these formations that we're looking at around here were all sort of formed in the last sort of 6 or 700,000 years. Okay, so but when Cliff Speckman and Lloyd Robinson got to this spot here in 1957, there was water right where we're standing now. Okay, but they thought it was just air and they stepped into it, their headlamps reflected off it and up onto this wall and it made it look like this. Oh. Made them feel like they're underwater. Right. Mm. So uh Especially as though this type of formation growing up here is called cave coral. And you can see probably why it's called that because it does look like coral there. It's beautiful looking stuff, you know, like it is so fragile and so sort of stuff. You just touch that and it breaks. And that's one of the beautiful things about this cave is it's like still in really good condition. We've got another formation over here, light shines through it like that. It's called a shawl, and shawls are created when you've got a sloping bit of roof or a sloping bit of wall in this case, and a trickle of water trickled down there, deposited a bit of calcite crystal. Then after a couple of hundred thousand years, that slowly starts to build up. Water came down through them, it picked up the tannins, brings it through and stains things. And this is really what gives us color inside of the cave. Otherwise, it would just be all variations of white down here. So that Tasmanian tiger had fallen through the hole that Cliff Speckman came through. 
then they found two more down here. Like, so no wonder those things are extinct. But, um, but you know, the interesting thing about that is the Tasmanian tiger became extinct off mainland Australia three and a half thousand years ago. Yeah. Now, if you have a look over this way towards what we call the organ pipes, and can you see that red line that's running along the base of that rock there? And do you remember that photo of the guy sitting in his boat? That's exactly where he was sitting, and that's where the water level was when that photo was taken. But the thing I really love in this part of the chamber as well, and in our next one, is, uh, is all the stuff that's happening up here on the roof. So I think so. When you have a look at all these sort of things up here, they're amazing looking stuff, you know. When I go home to my own house and I was sitting in the lounge room, I look at my ceiling, I think, man, I've got a boring ceiling. <laughs> But you know, these things up here, where you've got these uh, long tubes with a bit sticking out to the side, these are called helictites. And uh, these were a cave mystery for a long time. Now they kind of think what's happening here is that that tube has got blocked somehow, and the pressure of the water coming down from above has caused it to burst out to the side somewhere until that gets blocked and then it would burst out somewhere else. That's kind of what they think is happening there, but they're still not 100% on this stuff, you know. Cave uh, science is still a growing sort of subject. But beautiful stuff all over the roof here. And when you're starting to look around all over the place, you can't even see the limestone anymore. Little patches of it, like a little patch there, but all this amazing stuff happening up on the roof up here. Yeah, that's right. So we've got some more shawls starting to form, especially up over here. We've got some really big, beautiful ones there. And then uh, we've also got these um, beautiful stalactites here that I wanted to stop and look at along the way. Right, yeah, so let's keep on moving, shall we? Pendulites are a really rare cave formation. There's only five caves in the world that have pendulites because you need a whole bunch of factors to come together to form these things. So when there was water in this area, there was calcite crystal floating on top of the water. And when that calcite crystal came in contact with the bottom of one of these straws, it would stick to it. Also, when they were exploring this cave, they didn't have a nice trusty LED torch like mine here. They were using magnesium burners and things like that, which produces a nice bright light, but it's also a little unreliable. And occasionally they would go out and they would be plunged into darkness down here. Yeah, they've got a nice thing to do this all day. And the channel le video ko thengal kuchh thepade gayi. Kithi bolye le video ko karna thengal ko thalpiriyum thengil. Ye channel le subscribe ya madhi karna ho. ഈ ജുവൽ കേവിനുള്ളിലൂടെ കാഴ്ചകൾ ആസ്വദിച്ച് നടന്ന് രണ്ട് മണിക്കൂർ പോയത് അറിഞ്ഞില്ല ഇന്ന് തന്നെ ഇനിയും രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലൂടെ പോകേണ്ടത് കൊണ്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ പെട്ടെന്ന് തന്നെ അവിടെ ഒന്നും യാത്ര തിരിച്ചു ആ കാഴ്ചകളുമായി നമുക്ക് വീണ്ടും അടുത്ത ആഴ്ച കാണാം ബൈ ബൈ ഇവിടുത്തെ ആടും മലയാളത്തിലുള്ള കാര്യം